Day three and Michael Holden gave Alan Border his morning wake-up call. Well left, very well left, and the crash of it falls off his head. Well, he's going to have to be a little bit careful of that. Kim Hughes falling early after a clever trap set by Clive Loy. Is it that way down there? Will he get it? He's got it. Yes, he has. That's the end of Kim Hughes. Well, there was a bouncer. Hit in the air, down to the deep fine leg man, and what a good catch that was. It was badly played. They set him up. They kept him on the back foot. He's been out hooking this summer on numerous occasions. They didn't need a body line field. They needed one fieldsman. A beautifully judged catch. It was well struck, but what a fine piece of bowling. And congratulations to Clive Ward. Tremendous placement. That The West Indies, especially Michael Holding, right on song. It's been a brilliant bit of fielding by Holding. Kept the stumps too. My goodness, the West Indies are really on stream this morning. Magnificent bit of fielding. Yallop went to a very soft dismissal. And that's out. Caught by Greenwich. At full slip, Australia 5 for 46. Michael Holding almost unplayable. Oh my goodness, that went over the top of the middle and leg stumps. Border getting a touch to one down the leg side, Dujon showing off his acrobatic skills. Appeal for a catch, he's gone. Catch down the leg side by Dujon, well taken. And Border is out for 15 and Australia are 6 for 55. It's every batsman's worst nightmare, Jeff Lawson arriving to the crease without his box. And uh, that's uh, certainly not a very good thing to, uh, to leave behind. Marshall dismissing him for one. And there's the edge, and uh, that's exactly what the bowler is attempting to do. Not even Michael Holding could believe how easy wicket-taking could be. Oh, and he's just uh, allowed that one to crash into the stumps. Amazing piece of batting. I don't think Michael Holding can believe his luck. An incredible shot by Hogg, and he had two and two when Rackerman fended one to slip. Uh, well, he might be... Uh, certainly quite happy to go. Holding close to a hat-trick, leaving Alderman in some discomfort. He certainly goes for the Yorker, it's just going down leg side. Wayne Phillips put up something of a resistance. It's a good shot from Wayne Phillips. Just hitting with the swing. There's the bouncer, it's a no ball. That's particularly well hit by Wayne Phillips. And four more. Oh, ball from Michael Holding. Phillips waited for it. But he was eventually caught by Marshall at deep fine leg. Australia out for their lowest total yeah, against the West Indies. Lovely. Nicely caught. The fielding has been great. The follow-on enforced and Kepler Vessels out for naught. Australia one for four. Clive Lloyd has the first one again. Not a very good shot there from Kepler Vessels. He's gone. John Dyson and Graham Wood put their best foot forward oh, as they went about stabilising the innings. Fine shot. Shot of the day. Dyson working that beautifully off his pads for four runs. Unfortunately, Joel Garner's big foot was getting him into trouble. No balls called. It's going to be a 10 ball over from Joel Garner. All valuable runs for Australia. No ball called. So what an over. Controversial over for Joel Garner. Oh, again. Six no balls in this over. And he was pretty relieved when it was all done. What a good delivery. He finally bowls a legitimate ball. That's the over. It's one for 27. Wooden Dyson continued to take the challenge up to the West Indies, putting on 90 for the second wicket. It's a good shot from Graham Wood. Nicely timed. Cuts quite well, John Dyson, on that occasion, going over the top of Larry Gomes at point. Oh, beautifully played. Gloriously played, Graham Wood. Time to perfection. Well, that's the shot of a batsman in form, and he is in form. He got 141 here against the West Indies last weekend. Shots like that. That's through. Again, that boundary is a long one. Greenwich will get onto it, but that's Woods 50. And they'll love that here at the Rapper. Western Australia. Marshall eventually getting the breakthrough with Dyson chopping on. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Dragged that one back onto the stumps. A rare miss for the West Indies as Border was dropped by Desmond Haynes. Oh, he's dropped him. Richie Richardson making no mistake, dismissing Wood with a brilliant catch. And beautifully caught by Richie Richardson, I think. Yes, the umpire uh, has acknowledged that uh, the catch has been taken and Courtney Walsh has his first wicket in Test cricket. A brilliant catch. Haynes made up for his previous blunder, catching Border in the same spot off Marshall. Oh, and that's a good delivery 
and well taken by Desmond Haynes on this occasion. That really was a brilliant delivery. A nasty one, and uh, Alan Border had absolutely no hope of getting out of the way of that one. Yallop fell to another soft dismissal, a great catch from Haynes. And there's another one, Graham Yallop has gone. Close in fielder Desmond Haynes and Courtney Walsh has two. Hughes and Phillips seeing Australia through to stumps at 5 for 158, still 182 runs behind.